Welcome to OMG IMG for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful open graph image for one of your WordPress posts. Once you have the plugin installed, you'll find OMG IMG here in the WordPress admin under the media menu. Welcome to the project screen. This is where you'll see all of the OMG IMG projects you've used to create images. Since I haven't created any OMG images yet, I don't have any project showing, so let's create one. To create your first OMG image, click on the Create an OMG Image button in the top right. This is the new OMG image screen. Here you have a couple of options. First, select how you'll use the image, Twitter, Facebook, or as an open graph image on your site. Then you can choose from one of our presets or start with a blank slate. Let's choose to create an open graph image for a post, and we'll choose the side panel preset. Welcome to the OMG Image Builder. The builder has three sections. At the top, we choose the post and post type that we want to use in our OMG image. On the left, we have all the options we can change to design our image. And on the right, we have our image. Since we selected a preset, this OMG image is pre-populated with the featured image, post title, and post excerpt from the post selected at the top. If we want to create an image for a different post, or even a different post type, choose them from the drop-downs at the top of the page. Let's stick with this post for now. I like how this image looks, but I want to add a background color and make the title of the post italic. You can navigate around the parts of your image by clicking through on the left, or move your mouse over the image on the right, and you can select the section to edit or drag and drop to rearrange your columns. First, to change the background color, I click on the Options tab and select my background color. Since I set my brand colors in the OMG IMG settings, I can pre-select them in the color picker. Now, to make the title of my post italic, I will hover over the image, click Edit on the second column, and then expand the formatting options for the first text section that's showing the post title. Well, we're here, let's make the text white. And there we have it. I'm happy with the image, so now I want to set it as the open graph image for this post. Click Save As in the top right corner. This is the screen for using your image with posts and your site. First, choose an image format. If the image is mostly solid blocks of color, like graphics, shapes, and logos, select PNG. If the image includes real photos and lots of detail, select JPEG. Second, let's specify how we want to use this image. Since it contains the title of a specific post, I probably don't want to use it as the open graph image for my entire site but I do think it will work well as the featured image and the open graph image of my post, so I select those. Finally, I have the option of saving the project as a template. This means I can use this layout with any post and the information from that post will appear in the image. For example, the post title and post excerpt will be swapped out. I could see this coming in handy, so I'll turn that on. And we're done. Let's save our image. I return to the project screen, and now I see the project we were just working on. I also see that it is a template. Sure enough, when I go to create a new OMG image, I see my template is available. Now I can repeat the process and create a beautiful image for additional posts. If you ever have any questions, comments, or issues, click the feedback button in the bottom right of the OMG IMG pages. A feedback form will open and you can type away. Emails come directly to me. There's more info and articles at omgimg.co. Thanks for watching.